RCAP Co-Space Rescue Challenge 2021. Hello, my name is Michael Choi. My partner is Azadiyaz Rahaja. About our team. Hello everyone. We are very excited to be in this competition. Our team members are Michael Choi and Azadiyaz Rahaja. Our team name is SG1710. We are from Nanyang Primary School in Singapore. This is our first time participating in a robotics competition. We are the members of the robotics school team. Summary of preliminary challenge. Our challenge task is to make a robot collect objects and deposit them in the deposit box. The category of co space challenge we are participating in is U12. The problems investigated was to find the best strategy for the robot to get the most points and go to the deposit box while avoiding traps and walls in six minutes. Our method was to break the problem down into smaller tasks to tackle. The result was that this made it easier for us to solve and refine each task. In conclusion, every problem can be better solved by breaking it down. Also, we should always not give up. Instead, try our best to improve our codes. Let me elaborate this in the next slide. Analysis Our main challenge is to make the robot collect the most points and deposit objects while avoiding walls and traps within 6 minutes. This can be broken down into basic mini tasks, avoid walls, avoid traps, collect objects, and deposit objects. Then, we tried to make use of the special zone and markers. We added two new mini tasks, special zone and deposit zone. When we finished the first set of mini tasks, we collected 700 to 800 points. We solved the bugs and added two new mini tasks. Then we collected 900 to 1,000 points. Some AI algorithm and resources. Some of our mini tasks use basic algorithms. They make use of the ultrasonic or color sensors and basic C programming. The C programming allowed us to add more conditions to make each task more efficient. We save some time. Some are shown below. AI algorithm and resources. The other mini task algorithms are shown below. For deposit zone, as the collection boxes were all on the right side of the map with a green marker, we tried to use that with X and Y coordinates and compass to keep the robot within the deposit zone if loaded objects equals 6. Implementation We combined the algorithms of each mini task to carry out the entire mission in an efficient way. The methods we used were put together the first set of, of basic mini tasks and make sure they work well enough. Once we were satisfied, we added second, the second set of mini tasks. When we run the codes, we will observe the behavior of the object and see if the be it behaves according to our codes. If not, we will try to solve it and improve it. Implementation. This is our combined flowchart. Debugging. During our implementation, some of our mini tasks faced problems and needed more coding. These mini tasks were avoid walls, deposit zone. We tried to find more, the most suitable angles for the robot to turn when meeting obstacles. We used trial and error. This seems to depend on different maps. Some maps such as practice map had more obstacles and had to make more sharp turns. This map had less obstacles. Debugging. Problem 1. Avoid walls. We realized that the deposit box was always near the wall. When the robot tried to deposit, it would detect the wall. Hence, it would avoid the wall and would not be able to deposit the objects. Therefore, we coded the robot to avoid the wall only when it senses white. However, this created another problem. When the robot was not carrying any objects, it would go to the deposit box and be stuck at the wall. So we programmed it to avoid the wall if the loaded objects equal zero. Problem 1. Avoid walls. This is how we changed the algorithm. Problem 2. Deposit zone. We realized that our deposit zone algorithm didn't work, didn't seem to work. Even when the conditions are met, the robot will still get out of the deposit area. 
We found out only much later it was because of our color range for the marker was wrong. Different parts of the marker had slightly different color range. We manually moved the robot around the marker to find the right range. Conclusion and further work. This, this was our first time taking part in a robotics competition and our first time learning C and robotics programming. There was a steep learning curve. We were able to overcome some of our problems in time. This made our coding more efficient with an increase of 200 to 300 points. So even though we can improve much more, we are quite happy with our results. Conclusion and further work. If we are to solve the same challenge again, we would improve the avoid trap mini task, navigate the robot using X and Y coordinates and compass, and strategy to pick objects. Improve the avoid trap mini task. Currently, the algorithm avoids traps every time it senses a trap. This can waste some time since the robot has to turn away to avoid it. But it is actually fine for the empty robot to fall into the trap because it will not lose points. So we will improve the algorithm by adding another condition. Conclusion and further work. Navigate the robot using X and Y coordinates and compass. We would try to learn to and use this as a strategy to improve our robot's navigation. This can improve a few things. The robot can directly locate the collection box or to deposit items. More accurately navigate and pick up super and super plus objects. This will save more time, allow the robot to pick up more valuable items and get us more points. Conclusion and further work. Navigate the robot using X and Y coordinates and compass. For example, one possible strategy to quickly locate collection box would be. Conclusion and further work. Strategy to pick up objects. Another challenge is to find the best pattern for the objects. Currently, the robot picks up objects randomly. We would like to refine this. We would program our robot to collect the objects in a pattern, which is RBCXXX. We have to make variables for red, cyan, and black. That's the reason for this. I will explain in our next slide. Strategy to pick objects. Herbert A. Simon, the father of artificial intelligence, said that we should satisfy and not optimize to get the best results. What he said means that we should choose what is good enough, satisfies, and not choose the best if it is too risky and unlikely or impossible. So, we will not choose the optimal best. This may get us the one super class object. However, it will take too much time to collect. Instead, we will choose the good enough. It is good enough to get the super objects within the limited time. Conclusion and further work. Strategy to pick objects. Our learning experience. We learned strategy, problem solving and thinking skills, patience, what we, we gained through the RoboCup Singapore Open 2021 Cold Space Challenge is presentation skills, more experience of code, coding C language and making variables, and the joy of coding. The most important points that we wish to share with other Cold Space game players are we should never give up and work as a team. Sometimes we may disagree. Still, we can work together if we listen to each other. This trains us to be more, to be open to feedback and to be humble. Thank you for watching.